All rise, the Honorable Justice Shah presiding. Be seated. Um, criminal case number four of 2021, City of Hippo versus Desmond Peters. May it please the court, Your Honor. My name is Jennifer Gedu, practicing as Farm 3 Law Advocate, and I represent the accused, Desmond Peter, who is here in court today. Your Honor, this matter is one of mistaken identity. And Your Honor, this case is also about the life of a 12-year-old young boy of good behavior and standing in his community, who is now facing a possible 14-year um, imprisonment and sentence because of this case. Your Honor, the prosecution has attempted to so eloquently uh, present a case based on speculation and which has also been carefully woven together with inadequate and inconclusive evidence. Your Honor, we cannot overlook the shoddy and improper investigations that have for so long insulted the values and principles of this country and have left so many people, innocent people, behind bars. Innocent people like the accused, my client, Desmond Peters. Yet the threshold, Your Honor, for the Kenyan people has not changed. The Kenyan people have always called for a requirement of beyond reasonable doubt, Your Honor, when it comes to the criminal justice system. Your Honor, the prosecution in their alternative story and theory have failed to disclose that the evidence from their key witness in this case, who is the victim, is of low probative value at the very best, Your Honor. The witness relies on the aid of glasses to see clearly, especially in the darker hours of the day and the, your prosecution the prosecution in their opening statement failed to relay the information and the fact that on the material day the, their key witness was not wearing glasses in her statement as a matter of fact she admitted to the very fact that she was only 80 percent certain that the accused was the person who stole from her your Honor, 80%. Your Honor, throughout this case, the defense, we intend to demonstrate that this trial and the reason we are here today is because the prosecution and the investigation department have failed this country in their duty. Because of this failure, the wrong person is in court here today. What the prosecution will fail to demonstrate in the alternative story, Your Honor, is that on the material day, it was around 5 p.m., when the accused was walking home after a busy day of toiling and earning a living. The accused is an orphan who has two brothers that he works so hard to support. Now, Your Honor will demonstrate that on this particular day, the accused was actually work, walking home from work when Mr. Said accosted him, arrested him, and presented him before the, the said uh, two witnesses, who at the time obviously agitated and angry because they had just lost uh, their purse and property. They purported that the accused might have been one of the boys, even though, Your Honor, and we will demonstrate, we will present evidence to show this, even though they had not seen the faces of the thieves. Now, Mr. Sa Said had lost sight of the thieves, of the boys, and upon catching up, he did notice that um, the accused, my client Desmond here, was not um, catching his breath. He, in fact, he was walking, he was not running. Now, what the prosecution, Your Honor, has also left out is that Mr. Said has a history with Desmond's uncle here and they have had several altercations, and this is purely out of malicious intent, Your Honor. And therefore, relying on this evidence that has been presented by the prosecution will be furthering the vendetta of the said Mr. Said. 
Your Honor, despite the fact that Ms. my client, Mr. Desmond, confessed to having pickpocketed in the, in the past, he is a reformed boy, Your Honor. And this is demonstrated by the fact that he actually uh, got a job and on the material day, he was walking ho to home from work. And therefore, we will demonstrate that he had no motive to steal whatsoever. Your Honor, my client, Desmond, is merely a victim of circumstance who was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Your Honor, we plead with this court that at a time where the world is shaken by mistruth and the politics of alternative facts that have pushed us into the dark era of this information age, we ask that this court cannot surely, cannot surely accept charlatanry. This court cannot allow lackadaisical attitudes that have been pre represented here by the prosecution and the courts cannot allow jerry built cases to grace the corridors of this great nation your honor we urge this court to dismiss this case against my client as it is merely a, a waste of taxpayers time and money and with this we conclude our opening statement thank you your honor